Hi everyone, this is Shane R. Monroe, and if you followed my video tutorial on how to mount your Steam Deck drives as Windows drive letters in Windows using SSHFS, boy, you're going to love this video. What we're going to do is we're going to create a batch file that will easily dismount and mount your mounted drives. And I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. But if you haven't already done this, if you're not already using a drive letter for your Steam Deck on Windows, probably not the video for you, but do go check out this other video link in the description, upper right corner, and uh, you'll be ready to go for this one as well. So we'll get rid of that. So currently I have three drive letters, X, Y, and Z, all mounted to my Steam Deck. One is mounted to my home folder where documents, downloads, desktop is at. My second one, my X drive is located, is mounted to my micro SD card where I can easily go to emulation and ROMs and drop uh, files in. My last one is actually to the root, the very, very root folder on the Steam Deck. Has a lot of system level stuff, but you can get to home deck from here. Most people probably don't have this mounted. There's very little need to have this mounted. And in fact, you may have some writing restrictions if you mount here. But I do have it mounted, and we're going to use that to take a couple of shortcuts later, but I'll also show you the long way as well. So in the description below, there's a link to a file. Go ahead and download that file, unzip it, but do not double click the mount deck template just yet. This is a batch file and batch files can pose a security risk, which is why we're gonna walk through it together so I can explain what all of it does and you don't have to worry about it. But I would never recommend running a batch file from anyone you don't trust, you don't know, or at least you've gone through it and looked over the file to make sure it doesn't do anything funny. Essentially, what this does is it turns the echo of the command off. It reminds the user to turn on, make sure SSHFS is installed. And then of course, make sure your deck is on and connected. We're gonna set two parameters or variables here. One's your SD card location and your password because I don't have your Steam Deck's password. The script does need it to run, so you'll need to put it in here. We'll do all this in a minute. Next up, it does a net use command, which unmounts all three of these drives, X, Y, and Z. It doesn't actually harm any data, it just disconnects the content from your Windows machine. Next up, we pause, of course, and then we set up each one. We set the X drive up to be here, or your home folder. We set Y up to be wherever your drive is. This is why we have to fill in this variable. And finally, Z goes right to the root, which again, most people probably don't need. We use a username and a password. If you've changed your username from deck, which most people haven't, but if you did, you're gonna have to change it in these three places. One, two, three. Finally, we say yes, be persistent. We would like to make sure that these uh, folders are available each time we reboot. That's all it does. But we do need the SD card folder location and we need your password. We'll set the password last. You can see here that we're mounting the SD card from Run Media Deck drive location. So I fortunately still have my root drive mounted as my Z drive. So this is the easy way if you happen to still have a mount for that. You can go in, go to Run Media. If you have a folder called MMC BLK0, that's not an O, it's a zero, P1, that is not a link. You see that little arrow right there? That means it's a sim link. If it's a sim link, you're probably on OS 3.5 or above. You're going to have to do something a little bit different than if you're on OS 3.4. If you're on 3.4, you probably won't have a deck folder, and this will be the only folder in here, and this represents your micro SD card. If you're on 3.5, you'll probably have a deck folder, and inside of there will be your micro SD card. You can prove it by going in there. There's my emulation folder, there's my ROMs. So that's definitely it. We need this folder name. Now, fortunately, it's very easy to just hit rename, copy it, and then paste it in here. Make sure there's no spaces at the beginning or at the end and there's no quotes or you know singular double quotes, whatever. And then everywhere where the word drive appears in these little percents will get replaced. So run media deck, this drive, run media deck, this drive. Perfect, okay, that works good. Now, however, if you are not on 3.5 and this is your folder, right? you're gonna cut and paste this in and you're gonna to have to remove the word deck from here, as long with the, one of the slashes. So remove deck and one slash. Now run media MMC, 
run media MMC. Hopefully that's clear. Now I am on 3.5, so I got to put everything back. Perfect. So now my drive is set to here, run media deck, perfect. Now all I need to do is set my password and go on. But before we do that, there's a hard way to do this. You're not gonna like it, but if for some reason you don't already have that mounted, you can of course go over to your Steam Deck, open up your Dolphin File Manager, go to Home, click this little arrow, and select the root folder. Once again, you can go to Run, Media, and again, you'll see it's sim linked, so you know you're on 3.5. Go to deck, grab this. You can either rename it and copy it, or you can do properties. Go in here, copy that out, and now you're gonna have to get it to your Windows machine, right? Send it via an email, a text, save it to a text file, pull it back out, however you've gotta do it. Unfortunately, this is really the only way to do it if you don't already have a drive mounted or you're not mounting a drive over to root. But that's the hard part. So, Otherwise, it's exactly the same process, right? If it's a sim link, you use the one under deck. If it's not a sim link, you use the actual, the actual uh, folder name. So there it is, perfect. Okay, so now all we need to do is set our password. I'll take it slightly off screen here. I'll put my password in, I'll hit save, I will close, and I'm now ready to run it for the first time. I'll bring up this PC on this side, X, Y, and Z are all still here. I'll double click. All right, make sure you have installed SSHFS and your deck is on and connected to the network. Perfect. Now, X, Y, Z, all deleted successfully. So let's go over here, hit refresh. Yeah, they're dead, they're, they've been killed. Their phantom are still there, but if I were to reboot, they'd be gone. Press any key. Now it's gonna set each one. X is home, successful. Y is SD card, successful. Z as root, successful, boom. So, next time you've got a problem, next time you reboot Windows or you connect your Steam Deck and all of a sudden these drives don't work, uh, you got a brand new Windows install. That happens a lot too. You installed a new version of Windows, you need to mount these up. Now you've got a script to do it. You've got a batch file to do it. If your Steam Deck changes IP addresses, you got a script now that can reconnect it for you. Uh, you may have to make changes. You may have been um, 3.4 before, but now you're 3.5. You'll have to make changes as we illustrated in the video. Listen, if this helped you out, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Leave a comment, it helps us out. I try to read them all. And as usual, if there's any changes to this video, if anything becomes uh, invalid or the data changes, please look at the description. It will have any sort of changes to the videos that you need to be aware of. That's it, I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. As always, take care and we'll see you next time.